Tonight, News Channel 8 has confirmed that the Oklahoma State Department of Education has joined Donald Trump's social media platform, Truth Social. News Channel 8's Lauren Henry joins us now live. And Lauren, I understand that you spoke with State Superintendent Ryan Walters about this decision to join this platform. Brenna, I did speak with him, and so far the OSDE has only made a few posts on the app Truth Social. But Walters says after receiving alleged censorship from other social media platforms, he took matters into his own hands by adding the state agency to the app. What we've seen nationally is unprecedented censorship from left-wing social media giants to try to clamp down on President Trump, try to clamp down on other conservatives and block messages from getting to Oklahomans, to parents. Truth Social is a conservative social media platform claiming to encourage open and free conversation without discrimination based on political ideology. Today, Superintendent Ryan Walters announced that the OSDE has also joined the app. And so we're going to make sure we can speak directly to parents, so we're happy to partner with Truth Social to be able to get our message out directly without big tech censorship. On the app, the OSDE posted a video of former President Donald Trump saying they're proud to join millions of patriots on Truth Social. When asked what censorship the OSDE had received on other apps, Walters responded. Now, Facebook has multiple times taken down my videos and you know, given us these community warnings or whatever else. We continue to see it happen to national figures. We saw President Trump banned completely. We never want to be put in that position again where we can't speak directly to the people of Oklahoma. But State Representative John Waldron believes that censorship is the last subject the OSDE should be worried about. Here's what it adds up to. Another distraction from the actual issues we should be facing, like how to deliver quality education to 700,000 Oklahoma school children. We should be focusing on them instead of the alleged censorship of the loudest politician in Oklahoma. Walter says that along with Truth Social, the OSDE still plans to post on traditional social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter, despite the alleged censorship. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Henry, News Channel 8.